That's right, I had business here. So everyone, welcome to part 26 of Octopath Traveler. So, actually we're here to do chapter 3 for Cyrus. And then maybe do chapter 2 for Hannity. But I think we'll finish Cyrus's story first. Oh man, this is picking up right back then. A story so far. In Quarry Quest, Cyrus uses powers of deduction to get to the bottom of a series of kidnappings. Perpet perpetrated by the depraved scholar Gideon, who was harvesting the village's blood for his dark research. It was in Gideon's sickening laboratory that Cyrus discovered it. A translated copy of From the Far Reaches of Hell. Though the history of the dark arts intrigued him, he could not sit idly by while his peers used knowledge for evil. And so Cyrus came to Stone Guard where the tomb was bound. Would he find answers here, or only more dreadful questions? Mm-hmm. I screwed that up. Less talk, more action. Now then. Oh look, generic black robe, black and red robe guy. All right, so let's go to the bindery. It's right over here. Indeed. Go. Oh, nah, it's not the button. Most intriguing. Mm -hmm. Perhaps this will be shorter than the Tressa episodes. God damn, those were long. Excuse me. My apologies. A moment of your time. Be gone with you. Oh god, always more talking, more talking, more talking. Ah! Wrong buttons as always. Travel banter, go away. I see.
Excuse me. God damn it, I was supposed to be paying attention? But of course! <gasps> Thusly. Yes. <sighs> now then. Thanks. Listen. In truth, in the After that It couldn't be Yes Ah oh, yes oh. In truth So, yes. Leave it to me. You have my thanks. Come now. Just so. Call me Lucia. Greetings. Apologize. Hmm. In truth,
my. I'll be... Yes. Indeed. Correct. Yes. Hmm. I see. Correct. Shall we begin? Thank you. Oh, finally. Pardon me. Ah, Professor Albright. I apologize for this little ruse. I'd recognize that voice anywhere. So, we meet again, Headmaster Yvonne. When I heard you were looking into from the far reaches of hell, I knew your search would lead you here. And sure enough, you didn't disappoint me. Your mind is every bit as sharp as I thought it was. You sent Lucia to keep an eye on me. What a shame, my dear boy. A thirst for knowledge like yours would be such a terrible thing to waste. So, what do you say? Apprentice yourself to me, and I will overlook your little trespasses. How kind of you. I refuse. I am, shall we say, philosophically opposed to your stance on knowledge. I believe that knowledge should be shared not hoard it for one's personal gain.
I thought you'd say as much. Most unfortunate, Cyrus. Most unfortunate. As you know, this is my house, and I don't get as many callers these days. A smart man like you knows what this means, yes? When you starve to death here, no one will be the wiser. All right, starving to death. <laughs> what have we here? Now then. Professor? Are you okay? You can get away with this. <laughs> oh. That's what I'm talking about. I've done my research on you. Come in. If thou darest.
Now, let us hunt him. What next? Basically, I gotta go the long way, God. <laughs> you won't feel a thing. Let's do this. Let's see what you got. Come in, if thou darest. Therese! Professor? You just couldn't leave well enough alone, could you? You disappoint me, Cyrus. I took you for a more logical man. Headmaster Yvonne, what do you intend to do with her? The girl went poking around in my secrets. I fear she can't be allowed to live. And so I'll finish off teacher and student in one fell swoop. You'll not lay a hand on my pupil. I'll see to that. You seem terribly agitated, Cyrus. It's not good for the humors. It's one of those blood crystals. You will taste the power I summoned from the far reaches of hell. And that's the last we ever heard of Headmaster Yvon. I cannot fail. Oh, balls. I should have failed. An interesting dilemma. Lux conjure. I got to heal before I did this shit. An interesting dilemma. Lux conjure. Letting my arrow fly in true. Holding back nothing. Windhill, fight for this. Thou didst fight with courage. Oh, tries to level up. Finally.
No, you're not. What? Have my gratitude. Thank goodness. <sighs> Awake? Yes, Professor. Therese. I must know what you saw and heard. You'll tell me, yes? Yes, Professor. One day I heard the Headmaster talking to someone in his office. I couldn't make out the other voice, but they were talking about you. They were saying... They would see you dead. And so I... I... You came all the way here to warn me. Yes, Professor. I see. Well, Therese. As your teacher, I must scold you for your most reckless and careless actions. I understand, Professor. But one thing is also clear. Were it not for your actions, I would have died in that dark pit. And so, as a man, I owe you a debt of gratitude. Thank you, Therese, from the bottom of my heart. But, you must promise me one thing. What is it, Professor? In the future, Pray consult someone you can trust before embarking on such a dangerous course of action. <laughs> I'm sorry, Professor, but I did learn from the best. Uh, I suppose you did, didn't you? I must continue my journey, but I will send letters. Yes, I'll include assignments to keep your mind sharp. Um. Dance. Hmm? <laughs> I look forward to that, Professor. But I think we've talked enough for the day. You should rest. Wait, Professor! The Headmaster. He said one more thing. Hmm? What's this now? He said that once you were out of the way, there was a place he would go. Intriguing. And where might that be, pray tell? Uh. I appreciate your concern, but I will go there. I must. In a way, we are not so different, the Headmaster and I. Professor? That unquenchable thirst for knowledge bordering almost on obsession. And yet, our philosophies regarding the ultimate purpose of knowledge could not be more different. The headmaster used his position and prestige to hoard knowledge for his own foul ends. As an academic, 
I cannot forgive this. Knowledge is for one and all. <laughs> We inherit the knowledge of our ancestors and pass it on to those who follow us. Only then is its true value realized. Headmaster Yvonne believed true knowledge should begin and end with him. He was wrong. Always remember this, Therese. Knowledge is a bounty to be shared by all. A bounty? The more of us that possess true knowledge, the richer we all become. Those who seek knowledge must never forget this. That is what I believe. And those who would use their knowledge for nefarious ends must be stopped. <sighs> so, it would be wrong of me to keep this to myself. The headmaster said he was headed to the town of Dusk Barrow. I see. Thank you, Therese. Do not worry. Your teacher will not make the same mistake twice. When I act, I will exercise due caution. I can believe you this time. Please do, my dear girl. If you say so, then I shall see you when you return. You have my word. I will arrange for someone to look after you until your strength returns. Dusk Barrow. Whatever did the Headmaster seek there? Judging from his transformation to that dreadful beast, the power he obtained was an unholy one indeed. Is it possible that the tome holds not only the secrets to death, but new forms of life? And yet, I find it hard to believe that transforming himself into a demon was the Headmaster's ultimate goal. After all, did he not say he was betrayed? And the original copy of the tome is still nowhere to be found. So many questions remain. But now I know where I can find the answers. On to Duskbarrow, and whatever dark secrets await me there. And so Cyrus left Stoneguard behind, having witnessed with his own eyes the nightmarish powers contained within the pages of that baleful home. Well, what do Yvonne and his cohorts truly seek? whether he was ready to face them or not, Cyrus would find his answers in Duskborough. Alright, so I'm going to leave this episode here, and I hope to see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. If you want, there's a playlist to the left, a random video to the right, and if you want, you can follow me on Twitter at CGPoorly.